In this video, we are going to create image transfers using Distress Inks. No acrylic paint required. They create this beautiful soft background look. I'm going to show you a few of my examples here. They are very, very light, but I think they could have their appropriate place in junk journals and other crafting projects. All right, let me get all set up and then we will get started. We are gonna use a vintage popular science magazine and I believe it's from 1960. Now this paper is 63 years old and it is a little bit more brittle. Oh, that would be a nice one. I think we'll use that one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take out some pages that I wanna demonstrate with and then we will go through the process. So this is what you do. You pick your color and you just smear it on your gel plate like this. You can go like this but sometimes those marks will show up. Now, as you all know, a dry brayer will remove your paint or whatever it is you're using on your gel plate. So what I like to do is take my brayer and put a little ink on it. And then you smooth it out with the brayer so you don't have all those streaks. And it looks quite light. And you just take your paper and I like to do some ripping. And lay it down randomly overlapping the papers, filling up your gel plate. Just like that. Press down a little bit and then take them off. And like I said, this paper is old, so it does like to tear a little bit. The pages are quite brittle. But they still work. And you can reuse these papers. And I'll show you what that creates because when you use different colors of ink, the previous color will also transfer onto your final image. It's really a fun technique. Okay, then you just take a piece of paper. I'm using copy paper. And you just lay the image right down there, just like you would with a magazine transfer. Really simple. And you can get more creative and use more than one color.
There you go. Isn't that amazing? I love this technique. It creates very faded light backgrounds. Could be very, very useful. Now I do not clean my plate in between. I just keep going. And we're going to add a few different colors on here and see what that brings us. Now these will smear, they will mix, because Distress inks are not permanent. We are all inked up on the gel plate here. I'm going to go ahead and lay my pieces down there. You can see that the red has come through on the different pieces of paper that I have used. All right, let's try another. This time we're gonna try green. We're gonna use Lucky Clover. Another thing I like to do sometimes is add a little color around the edges just to kind of frame it in a little bit. You see how that leaves a previous color? And as you keep playing around with it, adding different colors, you will get more results like this. All right, I'm going to leave you off with one last print. We're going to take uh, pieces from Vogue magazine and put together a little collage. And we're going to use faded jeans. With some brown on the corners. Committed to a beautiful future. Well, that sounds good. And that looks wonderful. So I have some gel medium here and we are just going to put some on here to see how much it smears. You know, if you wanted to paste these into a journal, it doesn't look like it bleeds a whole lot, if at all. So we would be safe to glue these down. That was that was a good discovery. I wasn't sure how well that would work, but I think it'll work out just fine. Yeah, so there you have it. Let me know if you give this technique a try and let me know what you think of it. I think you can use other ink pads if you want. I just choose to use Distress Inks because I would rather be creating than cleaning my plate all the time using something like Stays On. It will stay on your plate, and I didn't want to have to clean my plate all the time, so that's why I chose 
to go with the Distress inks. All right, that is it. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.